Hello, friends. How are you today? I'm good. I, oh, I can see myself in reflection. Ha. Ah. Um, I've been hearing a lot about the distressed watercolor pencil sets. I have three of them. I do not have the new ones yet. Um, to tell you the truth, they, they make me struggle. Um, I'm, don't get me wrong. They're awesome colors, beautiful pencils, but sometimes, and some of them are so dense, so hard that I cannot get them to work very well. So I've been hearing all these people talking about, um, making them into a watercolor. So I'm going to try it. I got a couple of these little six six spot six banger I don't know what you want to call them anyhow they're for holding paint mixing paint paint mixing palette that's it palette <laughs> so I got a couple of those and I thought let's see how easy it is I was going to do this anyway and then I thought why am I doing this alone you guys should be able to see what happens and this little thing I can only imagine is for mixing on so that's what I use it for. Um, it doesn't work very well for mixing on. Plus, it's a big pain in the butt in here. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not for that. If you know, maybe you could let me know. This did not come with it. This is just a a nice little sharpener that I've, I have. And so I'm going to look at these colors and pick out a few of them that I really like and this will probably make me decide whether I want to go back and buy another set of them okay so let's see this is barn door and candy apple I love red so I need at least one of the reds um I think I'm gonna do candy apple for right now let's just do a few of these and see what happens so you're supposed to be able to just I mean, just sharpen them into a little spot. I don't want to do too much because they're already sharp. And if I don't like this, I don't want to waste it. Okay, so then we did a red. Let's see, we have a, a pinky one. I like this pinky one. So I went ahead and picked out a few of these that I'm thinking, oh, sorry, put my finger right in the way. That was silly. Okay, so, um, yes, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do a pink, a red. I'm going to try to just get just a little bit in here. And also, I'm wondering, um, after doing this, I wonder if they would, will they work better? Not that they're not good, mind you, but so there's a lot of people who are having struggle with them. Uh, there's a lot of people who just absolutely adore them, but there's a lot of people who are having struggle with them. So, and watching a bunch of videos, try not to do what everybody else is doing, but this is something that I want to know as well. This pink one's really bugging me. It's very um, dusty almost. It's just going every which direction. Then we got the blue, which is prize ribbon. You see this one? It's gotten in here too. We don't want to discolor. Okay, good enough. We're just trying it. It's not even a real, real palette. This is just a, um, this is just going to be my play. Just to see what happens. Because I know there's a lot of people who said that they have done this. And I want to know. I need to know for my own self. Okay, this is Rustic Wilderness. And if this starts taking a long time to melt them, is what they call it, melting, um, then we will fast forward it. Frayed burlap. 
Let's see, I tried to get a wide variety, but yet colors that are darker. Not these little um, colors that are so light. You can hardly tell it there, because there are some that are pretty light. Okay, so I'm just gonna move these over. And we're just gonna put some water in there and see what happens. Okay, I have my trusty water bottle, old Febreze bottle, and I'm just going to put a little few drops of water in there and see what happens. That's not a lot of water. That's not a lot. Okay, I got me a big old toothpick, and we're just going to squish it together a little. Can't put this in the same... And of course, I don't have any water with me right here, so my trusty table will help me out with that. Just a little water on the table, blah, 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 blah. We got a lot of snow. I know there's a lot of people around the country who have a lot of weather. We got a lot of snow. All of a sudden, this winter has been very non-snowy. We've had snow. Not as much as we usually do. But man, we have gotten a lot of snow lately. It's a ton. A ton of snow. It's a lot. And if you're out there and you live in a community where there's lots of snow... Please move your cars for the people who are moving the snow. There's a lot of people out there who, that's their job, moving snow. And there's people who just park in the road and then they get upset because, because they parked in the road. <laughs> and now they're all plowed in and it's like, but you were in the road and you can't park in the road when the snow plow is going to go by and then be like all mad at them because you got all this snow on top of you top of your car anyhow be kind be kind to everyone okay well that didn't take any time at all like nothing what do you think so far Okay, I'm going to have to go get some water now in a little jar so that we can try some of these out. Okay? Okay. I just have my Grumbacher 4. Long round. We'll see what happens. It's got a little bit of water, which I don't know if we really even need water. These are just scrap pieces of watercolor paper and such that I have laying around because you're always going to need some. And I'm just going to, yes, these are very wet. We're also going to try them when they're dry. But, oh, my goodness, look at that. Wow. Wow. Okay, to be fair, let's do a little side by side. It's the same one. I did not put them back in the way, so... Wow. Okay. We're going to do that for every one of them then. We'll try the pink. We're also going to let it dry. Try it again. Wow. I mean, I, I, I'm speechless because because I'm there's people having trouble with this. And this is what they're doing. They're scratching on a piece of paper and then wondering why they don't have the color. They want that color because it's pigment. It's like fresh, straight up pigment. Oh my goodness. That's, that is like, it's a lot different right there. Let's try the red. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's try the 
Where is the red one? Candied apple. Okay, pink. Red and yellow. And some of these are very, very soft, and some of these are not. But as of right now, I would get a palette, and I would scratch a bunch into a palette and just use them as watercolor as of right now. And then keep the, the beautiful little crayons on the side for whatever's. Oh, my stars. Look at that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Heavens to Betsy, I got stuff in the way. Go. Papers and stuff and things and oh my stars. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. Here's the same blue prize ribbon. And yeah, I have not had any problem with them. I mean, there's some of them that are denser than others, and some of them you can't get the scratchies off of your paper. But you can also do it directly from the pencil. You can go directly from the pencil and still get wonderful color. You see what I mean? I mean, heavens to murder tried. My exit stage right. Okay, and these have just been sitting here for like a minute. Wow. Green, where are you? This is Rustic Wilderness. I wanted to have them all in the same piece, but then I went like, oh my goodness. <laughs> they all have a little bit of a cream to the water. You know, my other watercolors don't, they'll change the color of the water. This makes it creamy looking. Like the watercolor gets like a creamy color to it. Okay, this one's going to be tiny, I guess. We could just do it here. Wow. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, I am sold. I may have to go buy the other three now. Because I, look at that. Wow. I mean, that's really nice. If you're looking for some really nice watercolors, yes, it's going to take you a little bit. Yes, you might want to use them as a pencil. You might want to just, and you can also take in the green stick it directly into your water. Oh, this isn't green. This is frayed burlap. Stick it directly into the water and then do that as well. It's still not that. Man, oh man. Man, oh man. I mean, that's better when you go on the side. But, gee whiz. Starsy, starsy, stars. Oh my stars. No, they still have all the scratchy marks underneath. So if you don't want scratchy marks, it pills your paper. So if you don't want that, I recommend... I, I mean, seriously, I had put this off and thought this is a dumb thing to do. I would definitely... How many are in each one? Twelve? Yes, 12 in each one. I would get one or several palettes and just uh, sharpen them into a palette and just make yourself some really fine, wonderful watercolors. Like, wow. Okay, I'm going to stop and let it dry completely in the palette and then we'll see how it is at reactivating okay so my battery might die I might have to do this later but this is what we started with these are still wet taking forever and I am an impatient woman an impatient woman not a patient woman I am a very impatient woman so 
As soon as I get that fixed, there you go. Okay, so I painted this with the wet colors. I think it looks fabulous. It is gorgeous. Let's see, I just put a little bit here. Yep, it reconstitutes wonderfully. Look at that. Very much, I love it. Really quick, 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 quick. I'm just going to go through each one of these, get them a little wet. Holy cow. So if you're looking for some nice, I, I would say better than nice, fabulous watercolors for yourself, for a friend, um, I would recommend 100%. I would recommend these. Go get them. Get the pencils. Um, I would say they're under this, this whole putting them in. I'm losing my words. Okay. Sharpening them into a palette is underrated. Underrated. I would say very much underrated. I think this is a fabulous idea. I think people need to do this more because this is amazing. You still, uh, there's so much, there's so much paint. There's so much paint. I just want to try to get this off of my sharpener. That's all the colors mixed together. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, this is underrated. People need to know about this. This is amazing. This is wonderful. I absolutely have a whole new respect for the Tim Holtz pencils. Pigment pencils. Distressed watercolor pencils. And I will most definitely be buying the other three sets. They are expensive. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because I just think they're amazing. So... You let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great day. Much love and peace to you all, and God bless every one of you. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.